Hello, this is uh, Vincent Valentine EX Turk with another discussion of Final Fantasy in the series of Final Fantasy. And this time we're talking we're talking about a small subject. This is where where did Vincent Valentine get his Cerberus gun? Okay, if you already know in the original concept art, uh, it's actually called Quicksilver because they didn't have enough pixels to actually model it to look like the Cerberus. I mean. Unless you can continue, think the death penalty from the original Final Fantasy VII is that, but otherwise the Quicksilver is actually Dirge of Cerberus. Is actually the Cerberus. Sorry, I meant to call it Cerberus, not the Dirge of Cerberus game. So, what? How Vincent got his Cerberus? Now, before Vincent found time to join the Turks, I think the first time you ever see any glimpse of, of a Cerberus, or if anything, it would have to be from Grimoire, Grimoire Valentine, Doctor Professor Grimoire Valentine. Just like Vincent got his outfit from him and recolored the whole thing, I'd have to say, I would have to say Grimoire Valentine um, is the one who had the original Cerberus. Of course, it looks kind of different, but fan arts made it look just like the thing because it's actually more accurate. Grimoire Valentine would be the first, would be the person who actually owned Cerberus first, just like it is with Angel owning the Buster Sword first before Zack. I think Grimoire Valentine, Vincent Fa Vince Valentine's father, owned Cerberus. But I think it was also crafted a little bit. Now, this is only a theory, so don't get mad if I say this, but I think it was kind of crafted with Lucretia's help. Because Lucretia was a teenager when she was, you know, being trained under Grimoire Valentine. She was actually being trained to become a scientist under Dr. Grimoire Valentine. You know, Vincent Valentine's uh, future love interest, so, yeah, um, what is it, yeah, um, so, I would have to say, um, <laughs> that it was kind of crafted with Lucretia's help, just like later on in Final Fantasy VII, Vincent Valentine gets death penalty, uh, gun weapon from Lucretia while she's in Crystal, so I think, if anything, teenage Lucretia probably help, um, Grimoire Valentine make it though Grimoire Valentine designed the gun so after Grimoire okay so after Grimoire Valentine dies because of the the chaos experiment and Lucretia regrets it I think when Vincent Valentine gets old old enough the first possession he gets when he's an adult the first possession he gets when he's an adult that's handed down is the Cerberus gun before he gets the outfit he he actually has the Cerberus when he was when he was a Turk for the Shinra company. So yes, yeah, so I think he'd probably get that. I don't know if Grimoire Valentine would would be alive at the time or dead. I can't. They, they, they didn't specify Dirge of Cerberus when um, Grimoire Valentine died. It could. Let's just put, put. Let's just okay. Let's just let's just act like it's. Uh, let's just act like. He was alive. Let's let, let's just play the situation. If he was alive, he probably hand the Cerberus to him, well, as a uh, as a token of Vincent Valentine's graduation at the Shinra Military Academy. So it'd be his graduation present, you know, which is actually really that handgun. But again, the designs changed. So many continuities and everything in the Final Fantasy series. But, you know, we're going off the base continuity. But anyways, I think, yeah. And now, if Grimoire Valentine was dead, you know, someone would prob someone from the Turks would probably send Vincent's present to him, which would be the Shin- which would be the- which would be the Cerberus, which would be the C Cerberus gun. One of the Turks probably sent it to Vincent. If, it, if, it, if Grimoire Valentine died at the time, it'd probably be sent to him as a graduation present. And then after he gets the Cerberus, he actually joined, not only being joined up with the Turks, but he gets assigned, later on, he gets assigned to uh, work with Dr. Lucretia and, um, and Hojo. But really, he's only spying on Hojo because Shinra doesn't trust Hojo. And then that's when, you know, Vincent falls in love with Lucretia, the whole story there. You know, Lucretia dies. Well, I, I don't know. She, I, I don't think she really dies, but she gets, you know, turns into crystal inside the cave after giving birth to Sephiroth, and then Vincent throws a pity party. The 27 years later, Vincent Valentine joins Avalanche, and yes, it does look like he has a small handgun, but the Quicksilver is actually the dirt is actually the Dirge of Cerberus. 
So, they fixed it in Avid Children. That's what I like about Avid Children. They fixed everything. So, it's not really a new gun he gets. It's actually been the same one all this time. Just now, more de detailed and concept art designs because, you know, the time period of Avid Children's release. Just like how the Buster Sword got a better look to it during Crisis Core. So, yes. And then after Vincent joins a Avalanche, you know... They defeat Kadage and um, in Avid Children, Vincent Valentine has his own game, which is the, the final part of the Final Fantasy VII franchise. If you count that, if you count that can though, only if you count that can. If you don't count the fan-made novels, the other continuities, Kingdom Hearts, or whatever not, then that then, then Dirge of Cerberus ends Final Fantasy VII. So yes, Vincent Valentine in the end gets Cerberus from Grimoire Valentine. Whether it's indirectly, depending on what you think happened, indirectly or directly from him as a graduation gift of the Tur of the Turks' graduation ceremony. And that's just my theory. Don't hate. Don't send no mean comments. This is just only a fan theory and fan theory and discussion. And have a nice day. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. Set that like button fire. Share this video to all your Final Fantasy fans. 